I'm Rosie Hardy. This is Rosie Hardy Gardening. Today I'm going to do my top five shrubs which they are mainly grown for their foliage interest. So let's start off with Euonymus. This is Euonymus fortunii emerald and gold and as you can see it's a very good variegated evergreen shrub that can be allowed to grow taller but usually is trained to make a mound and will grow in virtually any soil any condition it's a really tough little plant it has really bad press because this is one of those plants that everybody thinks of oh it's something that goes in a supermarket car park or somewhere like that but in actual fact in a normal garden these have come into their own because they're bright and cheery they're tough they're easy children kicking footballs around they're not going to damage them they will go on the edge of a shady border giving it lovely bright color and you can clip it and clip it and they are brilliant for those people who really enjoy using foliage for cut flower arrangements so have a think again about Euonymus fortunii and have a look at the different varieties. They are really, really useful plants. Going from something that is green and yellow variegated to a plant that is grown for its yellow foliage to start off with. This is Caryopteris clandoensis and this one is hint of gold and as you can see the foliage has got this lovely yellow tint to it it is basically a pale green with a yellow tint and then in the autumn it comes into its own with these beautiful blue flowers and the contrast of those two together are wonderful so this is a shrub that stays tight at the bottom grows up it's not too tall probably about 60 centimeters by 60 centimeters and in the winter you would cut it to half height in the spring you see all the new growth coming along the base of the plant itself and you'd cut it back down a little bit like you do with the shrubby salvias etc but it's a really good contrast plant so this is sun or part shade with that yellow it's going to brighten up a dull area Caryopteris hint of gold really super shrub for late season flowering but early season with its foliage buddleias there are lots and lots of different buddleias out there this happens to be a white flowering form beautiful silver reverse to the leaf silver stems and this one is called um, morning mist the reason why I forget its name is that originally this was called Silver Anniversary and that's so much easier to remember than Morning Mist. Anyway, it is a beautiful lower growing buddleia. It is one that makes really bushy habit, mainly grown for the foliage rather than for the flower. The flower is just an extra and silver foliage is really, really good. And it was excellent in dry areas, dry parts of the garden, hot and sunny. This will survive really well. And you can clip it back to whatever height you want it to be at. So a very, very useful silver foliage buddleia, morning mist. Going from the golds and the silvers, you then end up with the purple or bronze coloured foliage plants. And this is a very good older variety of Physocarpus opifolia. And this one is Diablo. Diablo has really dark purple foliage. Really, really good. Good upright stems and then it becomes a branched habit. It gets quite tall, so you're talking something that will go to two and a half meters high by at least two meters spread. So you need the space for this plant. And it is very, very good in sunny to part shade uh, properties. And what you need is to remember that it does flower. It has round flowers about the size of a golf ball, which are pale, creamy pink. But it's not really grown for that because that's very, very quick and fleeting in the spring. It's the foliage that you're wanting. It will be this wonderful purple coloration right the way through until we get the first frosts. Then it goes amazing autumn colors, drops its foliage, and you are then left with the stems. Now that is when you can prune it to half height or you can leave it and you can prune it after flowering. It really depends on what you're wanting the plant to do. If you prune it in the autumn, you don't get as much flower. That's 
all I'm saying about it. But it is a really, really good contrast plant for everything else. If you put the silver in front of the purple, like so, you can see how both of these highlight each other really well. The last of the purple leafed forms that I've got here is a Sambucus. This is Sambucus nigra eva, also known as black lace. This has very dissected, beautiful purple foliage. It gets up to being a really lovely shrub, somewhere in the region of about 1 meter 50 to 2 meters. That's really dependent on how you prune it. And in the autumn, you get these wonderful black berries on it as well. And like all the Sambucus, you can use these for jellies or anything like that. The flower on this is a lovely contrast. It's a pale creamy pink. So when it has that flower out in the early spring, it looks wonderful. It's an arching habit, really beautiful and good for a sun to part shade. Thank you very much for watching and please do subscribe to the videos.